This is Sheila from Kalma Island Diaries and today we're talking to an international cyclist. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what exactly it is you do, please? Yeah, so my name is Kerry McPhee and I'm from South Uist, born and bred in South Uist, though I live in Stirling now. And um, I work part time for a renewable energy company, but when I'm not working for them, I am pedaling my bike furiously across Europe and the UK. Um, yeah, so I, I guess you could say I'm the first person from the Western Isles to ever go to the Commonwealth Games, which is quite exciting. First, but hopefully not the last. Hopefully we'll see lots of other people. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm best known for my, for my pedaling. It's challenging not having any races to train for at the minute, but I'm actually loving my cycling right now. So lockdown or this crisis has given me a lot more time uh, to spend on things like re recovery and stretching. You're from South Uist, mm -hmm. so obviously you're a native Gaelic speaker. I am, yeah. I didn't learn English till I went to school actually. So yeah, a uh, Gaelic speaker and yeah, still, still love speaking Gaelic. And um, fun funnily enough, I was, comparing sewing to Duolingo uh, just yesterday because I've been sending my friends um, like the Duolingo reference because you can learn Gaelic on, on Duolingo now. So I've been learning Spanish on Duolingo and you find that you go away and you think I can't do it and the next day you come back you realise that you're retaining quite a lot of it. And when I'm at my sewing machine or when I've been learning uh, on one day I'll be like oh it's not too bad and the next day it just gets a little bit better like the technique gets better the lines get straighter and stuff so it's quite similar the way you just kind of retain a little bit without realizing it. Your mum being a carer uh, you've been very creative haven't you in your <laughs> spare time tell us what you've been doing to help your mum. My mum phoned me up about three weeks ago and she was like look I've got to wear a mask for work and it's quite stifling and it's really uncomfortable can you make me one? I was like, yeah, you know, I've got quite a lot of time on my hands right now. And I had some really nice fabric anyway, and I had elastic. So I got on YouTube, watched loads of videos and broke loads of needles in the process and made loads of mistakes. But I finally sussed out a way to make these masks. So I was like, mom, I've made you a couple and posted them up. And my brother then shared that with one of his friends who's a community nurse. And she was like, oh, actually her words were, I want to look really cute when I go out to work. So can you ask her to make me a mask? So it was like nice florally bike designs. So I sent one to her and I was sharing it on my Insta story. So a few other people were getting in touch and I would just said to people, if you're frontline, just one pound fifty, it'll cover, you know, the stamp and the fabric. Um, and I think it was two or three days ago, I ordered loads of fabric and it, it arrived. It was like nice rainbow patterns, which I thought would be really nice for NHS. And I put it up on my Instagram story. And um, initially I'd said, pay as you please, which people just could not get to grips with. Uh, they needed a figure. So I was like, right, five pounds. That means I can make a little bit of money. Um, and I'll make an extra mask as well, because there's a lot of places looking for donations of, of fabric masks. And my Instagram and my Twitter absolutely blew up with people ordering masks. It was amazing. It was abs I couldn't I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like up so late sewing and just ordering fabrics and ordering elastic and stuff. But it's great because there's nothing. We're not we're not. Um, I'm not training towards anything and I've got my two days of work and so forth. So I've got the time to do it. It's not like I have to be up and like out the door first thing in the morning type thing. So yeah, so I've been <laughs> churning out the face masks. It's Misha Kerry Nikafi, Len Island Diaries, Egg Calmac Ferries, Unimian and Social Day, Nyohalaku, Calmac.co.uk. Caledonia Machi Brewing, Atoshna Hylian, Hunahulutinia.